Steffi. Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Brooke confronts Taylor about her intimate moment with Ridge. Steffi warns Hope after she finds her with Carter. Ridge and Taylor clean their chakras at the cliff house as they and Chandra talk about spiritual healing. Chandra exhorts them to breathe as one and concentrate on one another. With Ridge's hand on Taylor's heart, they stare into one other. Brooke glances outside with a sad face. More. New commercial kit from BNB. In Forrester's design office, Hope and Carter kiss. She laughs. So much for cursing off office romances. Hope Carter's kiss BND. Steffi comes in and they jump apart. Hope picks up the phone and appears to be on a call while the brunette says, What's going on? She assumes Hope is grilling Carter about her line and complains that she's relentless. Hope informs her if she's looking for Ridge, she hasn't seen him. Steffi says he's with her mother. Hope Carter Steffi BNB. Hope says her mother doesn't have a problem with Ridge spending time with Taylor. Carter thinks it's all about communication. Even if there's mixed feelings. Tell the other person how you feel and see what happens, he continues glancing at Hope. He gets called away and assures Hope they'll pick this up later. Once alone, Steffi warns Hope about badgering Carter about her line. He's an asset to the organization and she doesn't know what they'd do without him. Hope agrees with her 100%. At the cliff home, Rich says Taylor they'll get the tension out of her body. Chandra advises them on how to breathe and informs Taylor that Ridge will help her adjust her heart chakra. Brooke peers in and observes through the curtains. More, BNB Halloween preview. Ridge asks Taylor, are you with me? She's right there. Ridge tells her they have to balance all seven of her chakras. Chandra proclaims that tonight, they're focused on Taylor's heart chakra. Ridge assures her no one loves and cares more than she does. Chandra talks about the heart being affected by unpleasant emotions. She wants Ridge to show Taylor what to do next. He asks her to sit on her heels and extend out her arms. Outside, Brooke gasps, what are they doing? Inside, Chandra encourages Taylor to stay open to this. Taylor worries that her condition is not all in her head. Ridge feels she's holding on to something. He wants to feel her. Just look at me. I've got you. Chandra explains that the heart chakra can be impacted by multiple heartaches, which cause scars within causing them to close off. Tears roll down Taylor's face. Ridge tears up. You're doing it. Chandra wants them to go deeper by trying another posture, which will establish an intense connectivity. In the design office, Hope and Steffi debate whose mother is more understanding. Steffi brings up Hope going after her spouse. Hope has apologized and wants to go past that and put an end to the rivalry their mothers began all those years ago. More, Darren Brooks' new role. At the cliff home, Chandra urges Ridge to sit cross-legged facing Taylor. She then asks Taylor to sit in Ridge's lap and wrap her legs over his back. She tells them to look into each other's eyes. Ridge is supporting you, giving you his strength. She asks where Taylor is encountering resistance. She says, in my heart. Tears pour down her face. Chandra thinks she can reclaim her sense of safety and empowerment. Ridge encourages her, you can do this. You're safe. It's okay to feel. Taylor cries. Rich cries. Taylor breaks down. Rich pulls her into an embrace. Outside Brooke's jaw drops. In the design office, Steffi tells Hope she doesn't want their kids to grow up the way they did, witnessing their mother's quarrel. Hope says the first step is accepting that Taylor appreciates Brooke's relationship with Rich. Steffi nods. As long as Brooke can realize that her mother will always adore her dad. Her mother won't try to break up Brooke's romance, but their love will never die. More the B&B reunion no one wants. At the cliff house, Chandra cautions Taylor that she'll be emotionally raw for a little period. Taylor says she can finally breathe and feels like a weight's been lifted off of her chest. She thanks Chandra for everything. Chandra wishes her the best and advises her to keep up the work to heal. She adds, be there for her, Ridge. After Chandra's gone, Taylor tells Ridge she hasn't let herself to grieve like that in years. Not since their lovely daughter left them. She praises him for leading her down this past. Ridge responds, you did the work. She insists they did it jointly. Taylor feels weary and tells Ridge he can go. She tells him his compassion is a great gift and she's glad for it. Taylor thinks they don't have to maintain her secret anymore. 
Thank you for helping me heal my broken heart. They embrace much to Brooke's disgust outside. Ridge exits and Brooke walks in the patio door. Taylor asks her what she's doing there. Brooke wants to know what's going on, Taylor. I witnessed everything. She complains about her straddling Ridge and warns she won't get away with it. Taylor claims it's not what she thinks. She has a condition, and Ridge has been helping her get through it. Brooke finds she has broken heart syndrome and gasps, you've got to be kidding me. Taylor, this is simply another way to manipulate Ridge back into your life. More B&B's repeated tales. Next on The Bold and the Beautiful. Brooke confronts Taylor, accusing her of chasing after Ridge, and Taylor confesses the truth about her health with Steffi. Taylor confesses, Brooke's disbelief, Carter and Hope's secret. The Bold and the Beautiful recap for Monday, October 14, 2024, is finally here. In today's episode, Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, tells Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, about her diagnosis. The Bold and the Beautiful recap highlights. Brooke feels Taylor is simply manipulating Ridge Forrester though. Meanwhile, Steffi Forrester Finnegan interrupts Hope Logan and Carter Walton. The Bold and the Beautiful Taylor Hayes Heart Chakra. B&B Recap says that Ridge and Taylor are seated on the floor cross-legged. Ridge has his hands on Taylor's chest. The Bold and the Beautiful Taylor confesses. Brooke's disbelief. Carter and Hope's secret. Taylor knows how useful medication can be, but claims she has a true physical ailment. The chakra healer encourages Tridge to breathe as one. Ridge's hands are still on Taylor's chest. Taylor places her hands on Ridge's. They stare into each other's eyes. Carter and Hope cease kissing. Carter proposes they keep it hidden for now. Hope smiles in agreement. Steffi barges in the door as Hope and Carter scramble apart. Steffi wants to know what is going on. Steffi accuses Hope of interrogating Carter about the future of her design brand. Hope plays along. Hope adds if Steffi is looking for Ridge, she hasn't seen him. Steffi knows where Ridge is with Taylor. Ridge and Taylor are still in the same position as previously. As the bell dongs, Ridge and Taylor stare into one another's eyes and breathe deeply. Ridge wants to know how Taylor is feeling. Taylor doesn't answer. The chakra healer continues guiding Ridge and Taylor. Ridge is set to assist rebalance Taylor's heart chakra. Ridge says anything makes Taylor better. Must read the bold and the beautiful spoilers. Hope jealous as Liam and Ivy reunite fears rejecting X was mistake? B&B recap. Steffi Forrester Finnegan's warning. Hope believes Brooke doesn't have a problem with Ridge spending time with Taylor. Carter agrees with Hope's comments. Hope says all three have been pretty open about it and interacting with each other. Carter's phone goes off. He has a meeting to get to. Carter leaves Hope and Steffi alone. Steffi tells Hope to be careful. Hope plays dumb as Steffi claims she doesn't want to harm her friendship with Carter. As Hope's jaw hangs, Steffi adds that interrogating Carter isn't going to bring her fashion line back. Hope sighs in relief. Steffi believes Carter is vital to Forrester creations and they can't lose him. Rich finally puts his hands down from Taylor's breast. Holding hands, Rich says they need to balance all seven of Taylor's chakras from her head to her toe. Tonight, the focus is on Taylor's heart chakra. Ridge brings up all of Taylor's great characteristics. Brooke peers on through the doorway with her jaw dropped. There is a special position to aid with Taylor's heart chakra. Ridge had looked it up. Their arms are extended up and out, like a bird. Brooke looks away and is surprised. Brooke says, my God, what are they doing? Clearly, Brooke can't hear anything, so the pose must look really bizarre to her. Taylor doubts this healing phenomenon. Ridge urges Taylor to please try. Taylor gives in. As the healer tells about a sequence of heartaches, tears flow from Taylor's eyes. The healer informs Ridge and Taylor that they are about to join in a way that can't ever be broken. Physical, emotional, and energetic interconnection. Hope talks about their mothers. Steffi thinks that Taylor is more understanding than Brooke. Hope informs Steffi that it doesn't have to be a competition. It doesn't have to be that way, Hope argues. Steffi agrees, but then Hope just had to go after John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin. Wow, Steffi. Hope urges Steffi to halt the rivalry that their moms initiated all those years ago. The Bold and the Beautiful Recap Tridge Trust The Bold and the Beautiful Recap shows that the healer feels incredible trust between Ridge and Taylor. It's powerful, she says, her arms waving frantically. 
This new stance is about oneness and two becoming one. Oh boy. Brooke once again peers in as Tridge is getting ready for this new post. The posture is for Taylor to straddle Ridge. All of Ridge and Taylor's chakras are aligned. You were joined together in a moment of intense awareness and connection. Now the healer wants to complete the link. The healer asks Taylor where the resistance is. Taylor answers, my heart. Ridge assures Taylor she is secure. Taylor starts weeping and falls onto Ridge's shoulder, still riding him. Steffi agrees that she doesn't want her kids to grow up the way she did. Hope wishes to create peace amongst the families. Hope feels a wonderful start is accepting that Taylor respects Ridge and Brooke's relationship. Steffi says all right, as long as Brooke knows Ridge will always adore Taylor. Hope says she thinks Brooke does know that. Steffi says that Taylor is a lovely person and won't break up Tridge. Steffi adds but their love for one other will never expire. Steffi reacts to mom's condition Taylor denies Ridge manipulation. The bold and the beautiful B&B &B spoilers for Tuesday, October 15th, show that Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, will remain unconvinced of Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, assertions. Taylor tried to explain that Brooke misinterpreted the circumstances at the Cliff home, but her explanation didn't do much to relieve Brooke's mind. Brooke scoffed over Taylor's broken heart syndrome confession and insisted this was simply another way to pull Rich Forrester, Torsten K., back into her life. Of course, Taylor will refute that on Tuesday's BNB program and perhaps disclose the full tale, starting with her erroneous heart failure diagnosis and her concern that she didn't have much time left. Taylor may also acknowledge she was just as doubtful as Brooke when Dr. Grace Buckingham, Cassandra Creech, told her she had broken heart syndrome instead. Nevertheless, it's a very genuine medical illness, and there are test results to back up Dr. Buckingham's conclusions. Even if Brooke eventually buys Taylor's explanations, she may have a problem with this personal chakra healing practice. It's highly inappropriate for Taylor to sit in Ridge's lap, so Brooke may think lines were clearly crossed here. Next, Ridge will drive to the Forrester house where Eric Forrester, John McCook, will quiz him about what's actually going on with Taylor. Eric may express anxiety about Ridge becoming too close to his ex and risking damage to his relationship with Brooke. Will Ridge admit Taylor's condition or continue to keep that news under wraps? Whatever the case, Brooke will ultimately have a chat with Ridge about what she witnessed at the Cliff home, so he'll do his best to soothe her. In the meantime, Steffi will return home and face Taylor's admission. Taylor will feel she'd better come honest to Steffi about her condition, so she'll reveal her broken heart syndrome and laud Ridge for his support. Steffi will no sure be frightened at Taylor's condition, but she'll be delighted Ridge has been there for her, and may assume a romantic reunion is the remedy to what ails her. The bold and the beautiful spoilers claim Steffi could make it her mission to force Ridge and Taylor back together after this. So keep with us for more predictions on all the drama. CDL will have other sizzling bold and the beautiful spoilers, predictions, updates and news to check out. So make us your favorite B&B location. Steffi learns the truth. Will she push Ridge to reunite with Taylor? The bold and the beautiful spoilers claim that Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, will find herself in a position where she is obliged to tell Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would, the truth about her illness. Will Steffi take this opportunity to try to force Rich Forrester, Torsten K., to reconnect with Taylor? Steffi Forrester wants her mother to be happy. The bold and the beautiful spoilers predict that Steffi will be highly frightened about her mother once she learns of her condition. People can die of a shattered heart, it happens every day. Steffi doesn't want to lose her mother, especially now that she has come back home. Taylor's heart has been broken for years and Ridge is the only person who can mend it. Brooke may adore Ridge but she has never loved him this intensely. Brooke always immediately runs into another man's arms. This should show Ridge that he and Taylor are destined to be together. Steffi will likely persuade Ridge to let Brooke sew and restore Taylor's heart before it is too late. Ridge caring about Taylor, but will he abandon Brooke? B&B spoilers. Brooke Logan is already furious. Brooke had already caught Ridge and Taylor in what she thinks an extremely inappropriate position. Brooke is outraged because she feels that Taylor is trying to come between her and Ridge once again. Taylor tries to explain that Brooke doesn't know the whole story, but Brooke honestly feels she witnessed Taylor make a play for Ridge. Will Taylor tell Brooke what is going on with her, or does she simply brush Brooke off to go talk to Steffi and tell her what is wrong? Will Brooke understand if Taylor tells her the truth and think that she's not after Ridge after all?
Will Brooks still condemn the manner they are going about this as being filthy and underhanded just the same? The bold and the beautiful spoilers. What will Ridge Forrester do? Now that everything is out in the open it seems that Ridge can go through this more honestly. Ridge claims to love Brooke, but he is leaning over himself to help Taylor including lying to Brooke about what he and Taylor are doing. Who will Ridge select in the end? The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Steffi learns the truth, will she push Ridge to reunite with Taylor? Will Rich chose to mend Taylor's damaged heart? Will Rich break Brooke's heart and rush to Taylor once more? Rich apparently made up his mind months ago. Will Rich continue to waver back and forth between these two, or will he finally take some responsibility and refuse to allow Steffi to determine his future? Will Rich stay with Brooke, or will he go back to Taylor like Steffi wants? Brooke confronts Taylor over Rich. Brooke Logan has always been guarded and possessive when it comes to Rich Forrester, and with good reason. Her history with him spans decades filled of passion, heartbreak, and numerous love triangles. So when Brooke hears about Ridge sharing an intimate moment with Taylor, her old adversary, the green-eyed monster rapidly rears its head. Brooke storms into Taylor's office, her voice already full with accusation. What are you playing at, Taylor? What exactly are you doing with Ridge? she screams, folding her arms defensively. There's a mixture of hurt and rage in her tone the concern that Ridge's heart might still be attached to Taylor, despite everything they've been through as a couple. Taylor, always the cool and controlled psychiatrist, refuses to let Brooke's fury destabilize her. She's prepared for this confrontation. Brooke, nothing happened that you should be worried about, she says coolly, seeking to maintain the upper hand. Ridge came to me for support, not for anything else. But Brooke isn't easily convinced. Years of rivalry with Taylor have generated a deep pool of distrust. You expect me to believe that? Ridge has always been torn between us, and you know how to manipulate his emotions. I won't let you steal him from me again. Taylor, meanwhile, is determined not to let Brooke's charges throw her off balance. Steal him from you? Brooke, Ridge isn't a prize to be won or lost. He has his own mind, his own feelings. You might want to ask him what he really wants before you start blaming me. Taylor responds, her voice firm but steady. She knows that Ridge's emotions for her aren't a secret, but she's tired of the never-ending triangle. The animosity between the two women intensifies as Brooke refuses to back down, her own anxieties prompting her to strike out further. This is exactly what you do, Taylor. You act all innocent but deep down you've always wanted Ridge. You've never respected my marriage. Taylor, now visibly irritated, finally snaps and you've never respected mine. You think you can just hold on to him forever, even when he's unhappy. Maybe you should take a good look at yourself before blaming everyone else for Ridge's indecision. Their argument leaves both women shaken. Brooke, devastated and scared that she could lose Ridge, walks away, more determined than ever to fight for her marriage. But deep down, she understands that Ridge's heart is divided, and it terrifies her. Steffi's warning to hope after catching her with Carter. On the other side of town, Steffi Forrester has always kept a close eye on Hope Logan, particularly when it comes to their complicated familial dynamic. Hope's marriage to Liam Steffi's ex has long been a sore subject. But when Steffi sees Hope in a startlingly close moment with Carter Walton, she is shocked and enraged. Steffi comes upon Hope and Carter in a private romantic moment that looks way too close for comfort. Hope, taken completely off guard, tries to explain herself, but Steffi's passionate protectiveness over Liam and her family springs to the surface. What do you think you're doing, Hope? Steffi demands, her voice sharp and accusatory. Are you seriously sneaking around with Carter behind Liam's back? How could you do this to him? Hope, still reeling from being discovered, stammers, Steffi, it's not what it looks like, but Steffi isn't having it. Not what it looks like. You're married, Hope. And Carter is one of Liam's closest buddies. This isn't just about you. It affects everyone around you. How could you be so careless? Hope tries to defend herself, but it's evident that Steffi's fury isn't going to be quickly calmed. I wasn't sneaking around, Steffi. Carter and I, we were just talking. It's complicated. Steffi cuts her off. Complicated? There's nothing complex about loyalty, Hope. If you're dissatisfied in your marriage, fine, but don't drag other people into it. And if you think Liam's going to just lay over and take this, you're wrong. Steffi's protective instincts toward Liam are on full display. 
But there's also something deeper at play, her own tangled feelings for Liam, and her history with Hope. Steffi has always felt that Hope was given too many chances, and now she sees an opportunity to set things straight.